everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Luxuries. Making a big batch of soap right now. This is, we're doing lavender. Lavender is not my favorite, but it's my daughter's. And it's a really big seller. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do lavender. I have a lot of soap to make. I have about two weeks to make it. I'm doing about 30 batches. going to do a purple. It's going to mostly be white is what we decided. Are you sure? I think it should mostly be purple. Think it should mostly be purple? All right, change of plans. She wants it to be mostly purple. I mean, most, yeah, mostly purple. So we're going to do some white. Take any more white than that? A little bit more? How much? Yeah. That? Right yeah. there? Yeah. All right. Well, I wanted it mostly white. She wants it mostly purple. We're going to go with purple. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. And I'll pour this back in here. I guess I should have asked her before I did this. <laughs> Saved myself some dishes. So I, I pay my oldest to wash my soap dishes for me. Or if she's grounded, she <laughs> washes them to work off time. Alright, so let's see if this is going to be purple enough. What do you think? We want it to be light. We want it to be lavender. I think it needs some white in there. Yeah. Let's soften that up. Okay. Dark. A little dark, yeah. So, okay. Put a little bit of white in there. Some white in there. Wow, that's right. I like that. Okay. So, I do too. I'm happy with that. Do you still want to do drop swirl or do you want to, or not drop swirl, in the pot swirl or do you want to do something else? You know what we need to do before we do anything? Put in the fragrance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but what do you think? What should we do? That? The pot, um... In the pot one? Yeah. Alright. I haven't soaked with this one for a while. This is what I made my daughter for Christmas. My girls get their own something every year. And this year I made them big loaves of soap. Hers was this lavender. Smells really good. <laughs> does smell really good. Uh, looks like there's a little bit of icing going on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just, I you just have to stick blend it. Pretty chunky. I'm trying to get all the chunks off the spatula. Okay, here is lavender out of the mold. This is the middle one. It overheated in the middle, and I tried to patch the crack in a little bit, and I caught it this morning. And the side. So the video camera. Um, we realized after I made this soap and then another one, the memory card stopped. Um, taking information, I guess, and we had to recover um, the videos we did have, and I was only able to recover part of them, so we lost most of Lavender, but as you can see, we did end up doing an In the Pot Swirl, that's what my daughter wanted, with a pretty mica swirl on top, and I let my daughter decide what we were doing. I need you to scooch those for me so I can put the soap over there. She's over here cleaning some um, sample pieces for me off of a soap that we just cut. So this is where we start to get muddled on top, but that's okay. It's just, it doesn't hurt the soap at all. And to an untrained eye, they're not going to know. 
Keep going. There you go. This smells, it doesn't smell bad. I, I, I don't know how much we caught in the video. I'm not a lavender fan myself. This is not my favorite fragrance. It's my daughter's though. My nine-year-old's. Who's standing here helping me. She's, um, oh, that's a pretty top on that one. She loves hanging out while I make soap. Here's a, another end. So this one's a pretty top all the way across. I like the in the pot swirl. For something like this, it makes it very, um, feminine, I guess. So for those men out there that like lavender, I'm sorry I made it purple this time, but only your shower will know. And no lavender buds. I kind of go back and forth as to whether or not I want to do lavender buds on it. They're not my favorite. A lot of people like them. They're just decorative, but... You know, they turn brown. I don't think they're that pretty. And they don't really add anything to the soap other than decoration. I kind of feel the same way about um, rosebuds. Here's the last one. I'm going to go ahead and cut all three on video since, and here's the side, since um, we lost the making part. I'll post what I have, probably. Cut those into sample pieces. I don't know if you saw this top. This one was pretty. You did good. She picked the color. She picked the mica swirl. She picked the technique. And we talked about multiple different techniques, and she ultimately chose what we went with. And I think she did a really good job. I really like it. I really like when my girls get involved, and if they have an idea, we go with it. Because I do this, a big part of this is because of them. All right, last piece. So this is lavender, and this will be cured mid-October 2016, and will be available on my website at StargazerLuxuries.com. This is Georgia Sunrise, and this smells amazing. I was really excited to make this one, and I'm really disappointed my camera did not record it. It said it was recording, and went to play it back and it didn't record. I lost this video and half of another um, the memory card. I don't know, it was corrupted. We had to reformat it and fiddle with the camera today. So I think we're back in business though. So I thought I'd go ahead and at least cut this on video so you could see it. It was kind of a fun one to make. But this is Georgia peach, raspberry, and vanilla. Oh, look. That's beautiful. There's an end piece. Ooh, that's cool. I was trying to create a sunrise. My orange is not going to be as orange as I want it to be. The orange layer I had, it was pretty bright in the bowl, but you know, orange fades, and I just, I didn't think about that. This was my fifth batch of soap yesterday after a really long day. So by the time I got to it, I'm not surprised that I wasn't thinking very clearly. That's really pretty. It is really pretty. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And it smells really good. I think this was the middle loaf that I cut, I think. No, this was an end. So I'll cut the middle one too. That one's pretty.
I went back and forth on whether or not I should do um, another fruit soap because I'm trying to get ready for fall and for the holidays but you know people like citrus and florals all year round this is not a floral but um, the other soap I did yesterday was a floral I did lavender as well which is the middle this is the middle go ahead and do this one um, my favorite is fruit I like the fruit scents all year round and I like to add in some of the spicy ones for the holidays. Really my favorite ones around the holidays are um, like toffee apple or caramelized crimson pear. So those are fruity. There's one end. This got pretty thick if I remember. Wasn't this thick? Mm -hmm. I think it was. I think toward yeah. the end it was pretty thick. And I just wanted to do a subtle swirl. This year I'm really um, I'm doing some holiday scents, but I'm doing small batches and I'm making them limited editions. Once they're gone, they're gone. I have one on pre-order that's almost sold out and it's only September. I'm thinking about doing another batch of that one. I don't know. I told myself that I was only going to do one batch of each holiday fragrance, so we'll see. I have more fragrances coming on Tuesday, Toffee Apple being one of them. And I am excited about that. So I might break the rules and do a full batch of that one. We'll see. Last one. I'll go ahead and cut it since I didn't do a making video. Which is a bummer. My daughter was with me when I made this. And we had fun together doing this one. That's one end. I'll slice those up for samples. I was kind of going, this one is pretty, I like that one. That's my favorite one so far. Kind of trying to mimic the sunrise a little bit. Coming to the last one here. So this is Georgia Sunrise, and this will be cured mid-October 2016, and will be available on my website at StargazerLuxuries.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.